It's all done except the finishing touches. After more than 10 years in waiting, Senegal's new Aéroport International, Blaise Diagne, is set to open its doors. Located 47 kilometers from the capital, Dakar, the airport is linked to Senegal's toll motorway and will be connected to the capital by a high-speed train expected to start running in 2019. The shiny new structure is part of a wider plan to decongest the city and turn Senegal into a major air hub for West Africa. Senegal already has a comparative advantage in this sector. We are a natural hub, basically only five, six or seven, eight hours from most places. We are in the centre and want to harness that with this international airport. Today, Senegal serves around two million air passengers per year. The new airport is currently built for three million, but the final aim is to extend the building to a capacity of 10 million, which would make it the busiest airport in West Africa. A new national airline, Air Senegal, is also expected to start operating early next year. It recently became the first African company to buy two of the latest Airbus A330 jets. When you talk about Paris, you talk about Air France. When you talk about Turkey, you talk about Turkish Airlines. No country can be an air hub without its own airline company. The government is placing high stakes on the economic potential of this project. An aeronautics school and an aircraft maintenance center are being set up to boost local employment. And the airport's location is strategically chosen to promote tourism along the Senegalese coastline. But experts say the government needs to think carefully about how best to position itself on the market. The state has played its part by setting up a revolutionary structure. Now it needs to transform this achievement. It is not enough to simply have an airport with a lot of economic potential. You need the right strategy to exploit it. Senegal is not alone in seeking the regional air hub status. Ivory Coast is a hot contender, and last year the number of passengers passing through Abidjan's Port-Boué airport rose by almost a quarter to around 2 million per year. Air Senegal will be in direct competition with Air Côte d'Ivoire and Togo's ASCII Airlines, which is soon to start direct flights connecting Paris and Lomé. And as taxi drivers point out, the new airport is not welcomed by everyone. <laughs> The new airport is going to be bad for our business because only new official taxis will be allowed to access it. So we will not be able to take customers back to Dakar. For better or for worse, Senegal is buckled up for a new journey. Sophia Christensen for VOA News, Dakar.